So in the spirit of the so in the spirit of the gorilla vlogger, I'm gonna shoot this entire episode with the iPhone XR. Uh, we're gonna be shooting 24 frame 4K. getting some of the essentials here at hy -Vee. And uh, if you think vlogging is kind of embarrassing in public, well, it is. We're getting water, we're getting cat food, and um, we're getting pop. Essentials purchased, and I'm about to head over to my mom's for some nice chili soup. She makes a mean bowl. They call this New Chicago. This is where the uh, dumps meet the riches. Here we are. Where's the kombucha? Oh, there we go. Anyway, uh, dinner at Mons was good, and uh, I think I'm gonna clean the kitchen so we can get to business, make some popcorn. You know, sometimes in my vlog, you're not gonna get like a conclusive ending in some scenes because I think it's really cool to have a camera and to involve other people. It's also really cool to have it turned off and just enjoy the company that you're with. I actually learned that from my dad, and I remember visiting him. It had been 10 years. I was in fourth grade, and I'm walking up in the airport, and he didn't have a camera. He didn't want it to take away from that initial interaction, and uh, I never forgot it. All right, ingredients. I've got organic butter, I've got popcorn. Unfortunately, that's not organic, it's light, and that's what I like about this recipe. It really absorbs the ingredients well. Um, for that, I found Ellie Mays to be really good. Um, if you know something better, definitely drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. I've got Himalayan salt, I've got Bragg's liquid aminos, I've got apple cider vinegar, I've got nutritional yeast, and I've got Parmesan. Just a cautionary warning, this is not for the faint of heart. If you try to make this at home and say, Luke, oh my God, did that stink up the house. It's wet, it's so freaking moist. You know, when people call their food dank, they're talking about something quite similar to this. If you want to drive like a roommate out of the house, cook up a batch of this. If you're into bold flavors and just that perfect fusion, I think we've got it here, all right? Let's get started. All right, well, the yield on that was like moderate. It's a little light to me, so we're gonna do some more. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for, folks. Nice big bowl. Just about topped off, looks good. All right, so for this popcorn dressing, for lack of a better word, I'm gonna say, we use about like three, a little more than three tablespoons of butter, uh, this apple cider vinegar, and some liquid Bragg's aminos. Give that baby a little stir, give that a little shake. Now we're not measuring this, we're just, we're just dropping it about that. It's like a splash. Now we're going for some Bragg's. It's like about that much. 
That's all we're after. And you'll know it is legit <laughs> when you get a you get a whiff of that and it's got that vinegar sort of brag smell. Look at that. It's great. All right, now it's all about the pour, all right? Because we don't want to drench this stuff. I want to see that angle. Give me, give me the finest little drizzle that you can. I'm gonna try and pour about half of this on the popcorn right now. At this point, we wanna, we wanna toss it a little bit because we want every piece, every piece to have some of that awesomeness on it. Now that's the thing about the pour is you really want, you want it consistent and if you grow to love this popcorn, you'll enjoy some pieces that are like a little bit more wet than others. So first round. I, I suggest two dustings. So we're gonna go like this with our yeast. We're going to Parmesan. And do a little bit of salt. And it's important to keep in mind that we use Bragg's in the dressing, so you're not gonna try and salt this too much. All right, so we're gonna let that kind of settle to the bottom. And what's really dope about this is that like the pieces that are kind of moist, they're gonna just eat all that yeast and Parmesan up. That's what we're talking about. All right, second dusting. Just get it in there. Parmesan, once more. In Himalayan salt, we're just gonna make sure that all the pieces kind of get a little bit, but we're not gonna try and overdo it. Best popcorn in town. Just remember, you heard it from me. See, I can just keep going. I'm telling you, and this is what's fun too, is because we dusted it twice, you're gonna get like all that juice and seasoning and everything and you just, every bite gets a little white and then when you get to, <laughs> when you get to the bottom, it's so good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you do, let me know, hit me up. And if you love popcorn as much as I do, hell yeah, and we should meet up and hang out. Also wanted to thank some of you that gave me other recipes to try and I can't wait. Jordan says olive oil, smoked sea salt, and some lavender spice that you can get at everybody's in Fairfield. I'm sure you can get it elsewhere too, but all right, we look forward to trying that. Hannah says coconut oil, matcha powder, and sugar. That sounds awesome. And then last but not least, Lauren says ghee or olive oil, sometimes spikes, sometimes yeast, sometimes vada churna. Who knows about the Vada Churner? What, what? All right, it's time for a movie. Style. Style is the answer to everything. A fresh way to approach a dull or dangerous thing. To do a dull thing with style is preferable to doing a dangerous thing without it. To do a dangerous thing with style is what I call art. Bullfighting can be an art. Boxing can be an art. Loving can be an art. Opening a can of sardines can be an art. Not many have style. Not many can keep style. I have seen dogs with more style than men, although not many dogs have style. <laughs> Cats have it with abundance. When Hemingway put his brains to the wall with a shotgun, that was style. Or sometimes people give you style. Joan of Arc had style. John the Baptist, Christ, Socrates, Caesar, Garcia Lorca. I've met men in jail with style. I've met more men in jail with style than men out of jail. Style is a difference, a way of doing, a way of being done. Six herons standing quietly in a pool of water. Are you walking out of the bathroom naked without seeing me?
do i know you?